Nobel Prize winning scientist findings show the universe isn't real. What does real mean to you? The answer to this query is often left to the world's philosophers or the 1999 cult classic movie The Matrix. But the discussion now has a big new contribution from physics. Real. As defined by what you might refer to as a non-quantum mechanical sense of the term known as local realism, is when an object, such as a car, has distinct features that are not dependent on observation or measurement, implying that the universe is independent of our minds. An automobile, for instance, may have wheels even while nobody is looking. The term local also denotes the fact that this car can only be affected by its close surroundings. And according to the standard laws of physics, no quantifiable effect cause can move faster than light. I apologize. What? Let's explain, then. Due to the fact that particles lack specific spin-up or spin-down qualities, quantum state before being observed or measured. The scientists' findings demonstrate that the cosmos cannot be locally real. As a result, the laws of local reality are broken because just looking at a particle might cause it to change state. To put it another way, the cosmos is only real while you're looking at it. Quantum state. What is it? Even renowned theoretical physicist Richard Feynman, winner of the Nobel Prize, once said, if you think you understand quantum physics, you don't comprehend quantum physics. Today, however, we are much more aware of what is occurring at the quantum level. According to quantum physics, the cosmos is random and particles like electrons and protons can only have states that can be predicted using a probability distribution. In other words, we can only forecast within a given probability, how particles will behave once they have been observed. The wave function, a theoretical probability distribution, contains details about the particle's position and momentum. The problematic aspect is that, as soon as we measure or detect a particle, the wave function collapses into a specific particle state that we can then see. This is a phenomenon known as particle wave duality. The universe is theoretically random because of this. The phenomenon known as the measurement problem is still a mystery to physicists, who are still unsure of why or how the wave function collapses. What then does the particle appear to be like before it is observed? We are unable to know because the particle is in a state of one superposition prior to observation that is simultaneously in all possible, confused yet. Nothing is as it seems on the quantum level, and John Clauser, Anton Zeilinger, and Elaine Aspect's discoveries have rocked the scientific community and turned reality on its head. That's all you need to know, so relax. According to John Preskill, a renowned quantum information scientist at the California Institute of Technology. The burgeoning investment in quantum technologies now occurring all over the world are building on scientific foundations which flow from the pioneering work of Bell, Clauser, Aspect, and Zeilinger.